Hello dear friends, uh, my name is Filfar and I was a little bit thinking about this channel uh, how to make it more original than just some music mixes because uh, YouTube is getting more strict and I was thinking about making some side content my idea is that uh, I am programmer for already 9 years and some of my projects are really old, like for example this firework and I'm making many things from games, websites, uh, I was programming in many languages so I was thinking if this channel is uh, watching also programmers, designers uh, obviously this site content will not be for everyone so it's completely okay uh, I just want to show some open source tutorial uh, first will be this firework, then maybe I will uh, show you some games or some stuff I was making in past. This firework is actually 8 years old project. I was actually starting making this firework uh, when I was more focused on games. So if there are some beginners uh, who wants to try something new or who wants to learn programming or object-oriented uh, programming, so then this can be good tutorial for you. So basically what is this firework uh, doing? With uh, left click you can shoot, you can see, and with uh, right click you can change the style. For example now you can see cubes. Uh, then you can see without gravity. Uh, you can change everything. You can add the wind, uh, gravity, speed, number of particles, everything you want. So it's basically small, small game, like you can change. This is Sparkles, 4 type. Uh, I'm going to show you the code, it's really simple. Uh, I'm counting that you already know some basics of HTML and CSS, it's only a little bit here, so no problem with that. But uh, the main thing we'll be focused on is JavaScript. Um, it's actually running in Canvas and we, we are can Canvas, imagine Canvas as some layer with X and Y axis where you can draw things. So um, we are starting with basic variables here. You, you have all the nodes uh, grayed out here. So you, you, can, you, you can see you have arrays here of fireworks, particles. Uh, uh, here you have mathematic function of distance, get angle, random colors. It's, everything is, is it's simple mathematics. So basically uh, it doesn't matter which, in which language you are programming uh, these things because you can simply convert these mathematics in other languages than just uh, JavaScript. So, so if you want to, if you are programming in Java or you want to program in Java, uh, the mat mathematical principles are actually the same. So uh, here where you have function to create firework, uh, I'm actually creating this uh, class in Java this would be class so I'm creating this class here and I'm putting it pushing it in uh, array so uh, I'm setting up some variables here and I'm pushing it uh, in array and then it is drawing this thing uh, here you get a function to draw and update so simply update its mathematics draw is just simply drawing the the firework. Here you get create particles. Create particles are actually after explosion, so completely the same thing. This is uh, some class, some function uh, that you have update, a draw, and you have different types. We get four types of firework, right? So one, two, three, four. And here, what I'm you can see the third type of uh, firework is without gravity, so simply I'm not putting gravity there. Uh, minus uh, y x uh, y axis. So, uh, 
So basically it's the same principle. I'm creating a new class and then I'm putting it in uh, array. Now here it's, it's drawing. Uh, this is my type of coding. Don't don't take it like uh, it's perfect. It's because it's not perfect. I'm uh, from my early teenage. I'm uh, learning programming, so I, I'm not telling my codes are perfect. But it's it's really old code actually. I would little bit change it anyway. But for now, this this is completely enough. If you want to learn some some or create some creativities from start. So here is Sparkler. Sparkler is the fourth type. It's creating small sparkles. Uh, here we got some text. This is just that tutorial down to see what you can do with it. Uh, here we are putting the content in canvas and here where you have update function that's that's all the that's whole function actually that we are putting in a set interval because uh, when you are creating some game or something, it needs to have frames per seconds, right? So it's like repeating, 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 and then you, you are changing the variables and everything. So, so it's not so hard. It's not so hard. For example, you can change the gravity. Now we got uh, this. So it's, it's basic. It's basic. It, basically, I wanted to create it the most realistic right now, let's say. But if you want to play with it, you can change this gravity to, let's say, three. And now you can see it will be a lot more gravity there. So it's going a lot more down. I can change, okay, without gravity is not changing because we are not adding the variable there. But now the sparkles, sparkles is also going like too much down. Then uh, I can show you some fun, like you can you can add here, for example, wind, wind, let's say some wind to, uh, let, let's change back gravity to one and I will add wind, for example, three or no, two, three will be too much, I think. I will take this wind variable, I will copy it here, let's say plus, it should go to left, I, or left. I'm not sure, I think left, if I will put plus, we will see. Yeah, yeah, left, because here is minus, here is minus to x, x uh, axis. So let's put this wind uh, to all types of, uh, even to without gravity. We'll just see what it will do. And now you can see uh, wind will be here. You see, it's uh, going more to left. So. It's basically even without gravity because we put uh, the x, y, uh, the wind, so sparkles should also go. Yeah, yeah it's working. <laughs> so you can basically create uh, create everything you want uh, with this. You can simply train yourself uh, if you want to start creating some games or something. It's really easy and. You can download these. I, I will leave a uh, GitLab a link in uh, description, so you can you can try it. So you can try it by yourself. Uh, it's pretty simple to launch because it's all client stuff. So you you will just launch index.html in your in your browser and it will go. So thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this side content will <laughs> not distract you too much from my music mixes. Uh, basically, nothing is changing for the channel. I just want to, I just want to create something more, not just some passive music mixes, you know. Thank you so much for support, and I hope you like it. And have a great day. Bye.